Welcome everyone to another episode of the Business English Podcast, the go-to audio space for non-native English professionals looking to sharpen their business communication skills. I'm thrilled to have you join us here today to dive into the intricate world of analysis in business English. Have you ever found yourself in a meeting grappling for the right words to present your analysis? Or perhaps during a presentation, you wished for more polished phrases to make your point hit home? Well, you're in luck, because today's episode is all about elevating your linguistic game in the business arena. We're not just talking about crunching numbers or dissecting market trends, oh no. Today, we're diving deep into the language that makes your analysis not just heard, but respected and understood. We're moving beyond the basics, stepping away from phrases that might have served you well in everyday conversations, but might fall flat in a boardroom full of seasoned professionals. But before we jump in, let me ask you this. When was the last time you felt truly confident about the vocabulary you used in high-stakes business situations? Can you recall a moment when you thought, I wish I knew a better way to say this? Hold on to that thought, because by the end of our time together, you'll be armed with a suite of expressions that will not only boost your confidence, but also the perception of your analytical prowess. Today, we're covering a plethora of scenarios, from the pressure cooker of board meetings to the more relaxed, yet equally important, team huddles. And for each of these situations, I'll introduce you to phrases that are not just advanced in terms of style and vocabulary, but are the keys to unlocking a more sophisticated and nuanced level of communication. But here's the kicker. We're also going to explore what to steer clear of. That's right, those overly basic phrases that might sneak into our speech, diluting the impact of our analysis. It's not just about what you say, but how you say it that elevates your professional image. So, are you ready to transform your analytical discussions from good to great? Are you prepared to leave behind the comfort of familiar phrases for uncharted territory of eloquent and impactful business English? Stay tuned as we embark on this linguistic journey, promising not just insights, but real, actionable phrases that you can start incorporating into your professional toolkit today. And remember, this is about more than just vocabulary. It's about crafting your message in a way that resonates, persuades, and ultimately achieves your business goals. Let's dive in. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to the Business English Podcast, helping professionals communicate more effectively, more confidently, and with impact. With your host, Rob, from Energetic English. Let's get down to business. So today we're zeroing in on the art of analytical language in business. Whether you're presenting a financial forecast, dissecting a competitor's strategy, or evaluating market trends, the language you use can make or break your analysis. So let's get right into it. Analysis at its core involves breaking down complex information into understandable and actionable insights. But here's a question to ponder. Can the impact of your analysis be diluted by the language you choose? Absolutely. That's why embracing advanced vocabulary and expressions is not just beneficial, it's essential. Consider this scenario. You're presenting a market analysis to your team. You start with the basics, the numbers, the trends, but then you begin weaving in terms like market saturation dynamics instead of just market trends, or competitive landscape evaluation instead of checking out the competition. Do you feel the difference? It's not just about sounding smart, it's about conveying depth, precision, and a nuanced understanding of complex subjects. Now, let's break this down further. Advanced phrases for formal and high pressure scenarios. Imagine you're in a board meeting. The atmosphere is tense, the stakes are high, and every word you choose is under scrutiny. This is where phrases like strategic alignment and operational efficacy come into play. But let's not stop there. What about leveraging analytical frameworks for strategic foresight or 
benchmarking against industry best practices for holistic growth. These phrases do more than just convey information, they demonstrate thought leadership and a command over strategic business analysis. Why these phrases, you ask? Because they show that you're not just reporting the numbers or trends, you're interpreting them within a broader context of industry standards and future projections. It's about painting a picture that goes beyond the immediate data, providing insights that can guide decision making at the highest level. Expressions for detailed and in-depth analysis. Moving on, let's talk about situations that call for a deep dive into the data. This could be during strategy meetings or when presenting research findings. Phrases like granular analysis or comprehensive market dissection elevate your language from simple review to thorough investigation. Consider using expressions like synthesizing cross-sectional data for predictive analytics or employing a multidimensional approach to risk assessment. Here, you're not just looking at the data, you're integrating it from various angles to forecast trends and identify potential risks. This level of analysis shows a commitment to understanding the full scope of the business landscape, preparing your team or company for future challenges and opportunities. Why advanced vocabulary matters. You might wonder, is advanced vocabulary really that important? The short answer is yes. Using sophisticated language in your analysis doesn't just showcase your expertise, it also enhances the clarity and impact of your communication. It tells your audience that you have a deep understanding of the business and the intellectual rigour to explore and explain complex concepts. However, a word of caution. Sophistication in language should not come at the expense of clarity. The goal is to elevate your communication without alienating your audience with jargon that obscures the message. It's a delicate balance between complexity and accessibility. As we wrap up this section, I invite you to reflect on your own use of language in business analysis. Are there opportunities to elevate your vocabulary to choose phrases that better articulate the depth of your insights? Remember, every word you choose is an opportunity to reinforce your professionalism, credibility and authority in the business world. Stay tuned as we explore more on how to navigate the nuances of business English, ensuring your analytical communications are not just heard, but remembered and respected. If you've ever felt the heat of a high pressure business scenario, you know the weight your words can carry. Now, we're diving into the verbal arsenal you need for these moments. And the focus? Advanced phrases for formal and high pressure scenarios. Let's elevate our language to match the stakes of the boardroom and beyond. High pressure scenarios are where your choice of words isn't just about conveying ideas, but about demonstrating authority, confidence and insight. Think board meetings, investor pitches and critical negotiations. Here, every phrase can tip the scale. Let's explore how to use language that not just communicates, but commands respect. Strategic alignment. First up, strategic alignment. This isn't just a buzzword, it's a pivotal concept in business. But how do you use it to showcase your analytical acumen? Picture this, you're in a meeting discussing the future direction of your project. Instead of saying, we need to make sure your project fits with company goals, try this. Ensuring strategic alignment of our project with the overarching company objectives is crucial for success. Here, you're not just talking about fitting in, you're discussing an integrated approach to success that considers both the project and the broader company goals. Operational efficacy. Now, let's tackle operational efficacy. It's one thing to say, our operations are running smoothly. It's another to articulate, we've achieved enhanced operational efficacy through streamlined processes and robust performance metrics. Here, you're diving deeper, showcasing not just the result, but how you got there and the metrics that prove your point. Leveraging analytical frameworks for strategic foresight. 
Ever thought about how to convey that you're not just reacting to the market, but anticipating changes? Enter leveraging analytical frameworks for strategic foresight. It's a mouthful, but it packs a punch. Imagine saying, by leveraging analytical frameworks, we're not just responding to market dynamics, we're anticipating them, ensuring our strategy incorporates not only current data, but predictive analytics for future trends. This phrase positions you as forward-thinking and data-driven, two highly prized attributes in the business world. Benchmarking against industry best practices for holistic growth. Finally, let's consider benchmarking against industry best practices for holistic growth. It's easy to say we're doing well compared to our competitors, but what about our strategy of benchmarking against industry best practices has positioned us for holistic growth, ensuring we excel not just in isolated metrics, but across the board. This shows a commitment to comprehensive excellence and an understanding that true success is multidimensional. Why do these phrases matter? In high pressure scenarios, they demonstrate not just what you're doing, but how and why you're doing it at a level that resonates with seasoned professionals. They show you're thinking big picture, strategically, and with a depth of understanding that goes beyond the surface. But here's a question to think about. How can you start incorporating these phrases into your everyday business conversations to make them second nature? Well, start small, practice regularly, and soon you'll find these phrases rolling off your tongue with ease. As we close this section, remember, the goal is not to obscure your message with complex language, but to enhance the precision and impact of your communication. In our next segment, we'll explore expressions for detailed and in-depth analysis, diving into how to articulate the intricacies of your work with clarity and sophistication. In high pressure scenarios, we've seen how advanced phrases can elevate your communication. Now let's shift gears and delve into expressions for detailed and in-depth analysis. This is where the rubber meets the road in strategic meetings and research presentations. Ready to dive deeper? Granular analysis. First up, let's talk about granular analysis. It's one thing to overview a project or market trend, it's another to dissect it piece by piece. But how do you articulate this in a meeting? Instead of saying, we looked closely at the data, try our granular analysis of the data uncovers nuanced insights that broad strokes can't reveal. This phrase signals that you're not just skimming the surface, you're digging deep, unearthing insights that are critical for informed decision-making. Comprehensive market dissection. Next, consider the phrase comprehensive market dissection. Yes, it sounds almost surgical, but that's the point. It conveys thoroughness and precision. Imagine telling your team, through comprehensive market dissection, we've identified both emerging opportunities and potential threats, allowing for a strategically informed action plan. This expression illustrates a deep dive into the market, showcasing a methodical and thorough approach to analysis. Synthesizing cross-sectional data for predictive analytics. Predictive analytics is where foresight meets data. So when you're moving beyond mere description to prediction, use the phrase, synthesizing cross-sectional data for predictive analytics. For example, by synthesizing cross-sectional data, we're not just analyzing the present, we're forecasting future trends, giving us a competitive edge in strategic planning. This demonstrates an advanced level of analysis, combining different data sets to forecast future trends. Employing a multidimensional approach to risk assessment. Risk assessment is critical in business, but how do you convey a sophisticated approach to it? Use employing a multidimensional approach to risk assessment. Instead of saying, we've looked at the risks, you could articulate, Employing a multidimensional approach to risk assessment enables us to evaluate potential challenges from various angles, ensuring a robust strategy against unforeseen contingencies. 
This shows that your analysis is comprehensive, considering multiple factors to mitigate risks effectively. So why do these expressions matter? In the realm of business, the depth of your analysis can set you apart. These phrases convey not just the action you've taken, but the thoughtfulness, thoroughness, and strategic foresight behind it. They demonstrate a mastery of analysis that goes way beyond mere numbers to interpretive, predictive insights that can guide strategic decisions. As we wrap up this segment, I encourage you to practice these phrases, integrate them into your analysis, and watch how they transform not just your language, but the depth and perception of your insights. Stay tuned as we continue our exploration into the power of business English in professional settings. And remember, mastering these expressions is more than just expanding your vocabulary, it's about enhancing your professional presence and the impact of your analysis. How will you leverage these phrases to amplify your analytical contributions? Let's discover that together in our next segments. Right, we're on a mission to refine your business language, making you not just heard, but truly understood in the professional realm. After diving into the high-stakes world of boardroom linguistics and the precision of detailed analysis, let's pivot to a setting we all find ourselves in more often than not – the everyday business environment. Yes, even informal settings require a touch of professionalism in our language. Let's uncover how to maintain that professional edge, shall we? Casual yet professional – phrases for everyday analysis. In the daily grind of business, conversations can shift from the water cooler to the workstation in a heartbeat. How do you maintain professionalism without sounding like you're delivering a keynote at every turn? It's all about balance. Strategic Insights Over Casual Observations First, replace casual observations with strategic insights. Instead of saying, I noticed we're doing pretty well this quarter, try elevating it to, Our strategic insights reveal a robust performance this quarter, laying a solid foundation for our next steps. This transition shows that you're not just observing, you're analysing and strategizing, even in a casual setting. Holistic overview instead of general updates. Next, consider giving a holistic overview rather than a general update. Let me give you a holistic overview of our current project status. This phrase carries more weight than, here's a quick update. It suggests you're considering all angles and implications, not just the immediate facts. Actionable recommendations over simple suggestions. Move from offering simple suggestions to actionable recommendations. Saying, based on our analysis, I propose actionable recommendations for optimizing our workflow, demonstrates a forward-thinking approach, turning observations into strategies for improvement. Leverage data for informed decision-making, not just share facts. Lastly, don't just share facts. Talk about leveraging data for informed decision-making. For instance, by leveraging our latest sales data, we can make informed decisions about our upcoming marketing strategies. This phrase highlights a data-driven approach to decision-making crucial in everyday business discussions. Why this matters. You might wonder, is the distinction really that important in informal settings? Absolutely. The language we use in these scenarios doesn't just shape perceptions, it sets the tone for our professional persona. Employing a vocabulary that reflects strategic thinking and analysis, even in less formal conversations, reinforces your role as a thoughtful, insightful professional. It's about ensuring that, no matter the setting, your contributions are recognised as valuable and informed. As we draw this section to a close, remember that professionalism doesn't have to mean stiff or formal. It's possible to maintain a casual demeanour while still signalling your strategic mindset through the language you choose. In our next segment, we'll explore phrases to avoid, those overly simplistic expressions that might be holding back the perception of your analytical depth.
Right, we're on a mission not to just enhance your professional language, but to transform the way you communicate in the business world. After exploring how to elevate our language in both high pressure and everyday scenarios, let's pivot to a critical aspect of professional communication. What not to say. That's right, in this segment, we're diving into the overly basic phrases that, while comfortable, might be underselling your analytical prowess. Are you ready to refine your business English even further? Let's get into it. Steering clear of basic language in business analysis. In the realm of business analysis, complexity and nuance are king. But sometimes in our quest for clarity, we might default to language that's too simplistic, robbing our insights of their deserved weight and impact. Recognizing and replacing these basic phrases can significantly elevate your professional image. Basic phrase. The bottom line is. It's a classic closer, but the bottom line is oversimplifies your conclusion. Instead, consider saying, in synthesizing the aforementioned data, our strategic conclusion underscores. This alternative not only highlights your comprehensive analysis, but also positions your conclusion as a strategic insight rather than just an endnote. Basic phrase, this is good or bad for business. While straightforward, this phrase lacks depth. How about this positions us advantageously within the market by leveraging our core strengths? Or this presents a challenge that necessitates strategic realignment to mitigate potential impacts. Here, you're not just labeling something as good or bad, you're providing context and direction. Basic phrase, sales are up. A common update, yet it barely scratches the surface. Transform this into a detailed analysis of our sales trajectory indicates a robust upward trend attributed to our strategic market interventions. Now you're not just reporting on sales, you're offering a nuanced understanding of why and how sales have improved. Basic phrase, we did a lot of work on this. This phrase fails to convey the breadth and depth of your efforts. Elevate it by saying, our comprehensive approach entailed a multi-dimensional analysis encompassing various facets of the project, culminating in strategic insights that guide our next steps. This version communicates the scope and strategic nature of your work. Why this matters? At this point, you might wonder, is it really that important to avoid these basic phrases? Absolutely. The language we choose in our professional interactions serves as a direct reflection of our thought process and analytical capabilities. As we wrap up this segment, remember, the goal isn't to complicate for complication's sake, but to ensure that the richness of your analysis is accurately reflected in your language. Throughout today's journey, we've traversed the landscape of sophisticated language in business analysis, from high stakes scenarios to everyday professional interactions, and even dipped our toes into the pitfalls of overly simplistic expressions. Now, as we draw our exploration to a close, let's stitch everything together with practical application. How do we take these advanced phrases and integrate them seamlessly into our professional narrative? That's the golden question, and I'm here to walk you through it. Real-world application of advanced business English. Imagine you're about to present a quarterly performance report to senior management. This isn't just any presentation. It's your moment to shine, to demonstrate not only the depth of your analysis, but the breadth of your strategic thinking. How do you ensure your language elevates your insights? Setting the stage. First, Set the stage with context. Instead of opening with, this quarter we did well, opt for the strategic initiatives implemented at the outset of this quarter have culminated in a performance trajectory that not only meets but exceeds our projected targets. Notice the difference? You're not just reporting results, you're framing them within the context of strategic decisions and their impact. Diving deeper. 
As you delve into the specifics, resist the urge to simply list achievements or challenges. Engage in storytelling. For instance, rather than stating, sales increased, articulate a granular analysis of our sales funnel reveals a marked increase in conversion rates, a testament to the efficacy of our targeted marketing strategies and sales optimization efforts. Here, you're providing a narrative that explains the why and how, not just the what. Anticipating questions. Inevitably, questions about challenges and setbacks will arise. Prepare to address these with sophistication. Instead of conceding, we faced some challenges, pivot to, our journey this quarter was marked by several strategic challenges, each serving as a catalyst for organizational learning and adaption. Specifically, our encounter with X highlighted areas for operational refinement, paving the way for robust strategic realignments. Closing with strategic foresight. Conclude on a note of strategic foresight. Move beyond the generic, we hope to continue this success, and instead say, leveraging the insights garnered from this quarter's analytical deep dive, we are poised to embark on a series of strategic initiatives aimed at capitalizing on emerging market opportunities while fortifying against potential risks, thereby ensuring sustained growth and competitive advantage. You might wonder why go through the effort to elevate our language in this way. The answer lies in the power of perception. The language we choose not only conveys information, but shapes how others perceive our analytical capabilities, our strategic mindset, and ultimately our leadership potential. And just like that, we find ourselves at the end of another insightful journey on the Business English podcast. Today, we've traversed the terrain of advanced business English, dissecting the language of analysis across a spectrum of professional scenarios. From the boardroom's high stakes to the day-to-day -day dynamics of business communication, we've uncovered the power of precision in language. But before we close the book on today's episode, let's take a moment to reflect and project on where this linguistic journey can take us next. We started today by exploring how advanced phrases and expressions can elevate our professional dialogue, especially in contexts that demand a high level of analysis and strategic insight. We discuss the transformation that occurs when we move from basic to sophisticated language, showcasing not just our analytical skills, but our strategic foresight. How will you begin to integrate these advanced expressions into your professional dialogue? Delving deeper, we uncovered the art of eloquent analysis, learning to present complex data and insights with a level of sophistication that commands respect and attention. But the question remains, how will this refined approach to communication influence your next business analysis or presentation? Imagine the possibilities as you begin to weave these expressions into your narrative, transforming data into compelling stories of insight and foresight. We also ventured into what to avoid, the overly simplistic expressions that can undermine the perceived depth of our analysis. By recognizing and replacing these basic phrases with more nuanced alternatives, we not only enhance our professional image, but also enrich the fabric of our business discussions. As you reflect on your recent communications, which simplistic expressions will you commit to replacing? As we look to the future, the challenge and opportunity lie in continuous improvement. The landscape of business and the language it speaks are ever evolving. Staying ahead means not just keeping pace with this evolution, but anticipating and shaping it with our own contributions. So what's next on your journey to mastering business English? How will the phrases and insights from today's episode inspire your next conversation, presentation, or meeting? Now, I invite you to join this ongoing conversation about the nuances of business English. Share your experiences, your successes, and even your challenges as you apply today's insights in your professional context. What resonated most with you? What expressions are you eager to try out? And where do you find your greatest opportunity for growth in your business communication? 
As we wrap up today's episode, remember that mastering the language of business is not a destination, but a journey. It's about continually refining our communication to reflect the depth of our insights and the breadth of our strategic vision. So keep exploring, keep experimenting, and most importantly, keep elevating your professional dialogue. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the intricate world of Business English. Your commitment to growth and excellence is what makes this journey so rewarding. Until next time, this is the Business English Podcast, reminding you to make every word count, and of course, keep it strictly business. You have been listening to the Business English Podcast. Remember to subscribe, leave a review, and we'll see you next time.